Hello YouTubers! For years I've been working with my wood by just setting it on top of something that I found like a paint bucket or a stool or, or a table. A table is okay but they're not very portable and usually my tables are full of stuff like tools and something else. So I finally decided last week that I need something that I now understand belong to every woodworker's tool arsenal. A couple of sawhorses. So I went on YouTube and I looked at the different designs for collapsible and folding sawhorses. And the best one, in my opinion, I, was, was this uh, Hide a Horse. That's a commercial product that they sell in America. I didn't want to order it because uh, probably the postage would be huge. Um, so I decided to make a, a sort of a similar design of my own. The footprint of this sawhorse is very small because the legs are completely detachable. So I'll show you how I made them. The saddle of the sawhorse is made of this I-beam made of three boards. They're 100 millimeters wide, that's about 4 inches, and they're about 80 centimeters long. That's uh, four inches less of three feet and they are screwed together. The legs of the sawhorse are attached to the saddle like this with these three blocks of wood. This upper block has a slot in it and the leg slides into that slot and the lower blocks of wood prevent the sideways movement of the leg. There's also a 15 degree angle in the both ends of the legs. And there's a 15 degree angle in these blocks of wood and also in the slot here, down here. Like that way. And uh, there's a neat trick making the slot in this this block of wood I should maybe show you show it to you okay let's do that after you've drawn the outline of the slot you set the miter saw to 15 degrees and then you uh, make some uh, slots every say five millimeters like this Then you take your knife and you break away the blocks between the slots. Okay, then you put it back under the miter saw and you move the block of wood from left to right to smooth out the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect. But you see, there's the 15 degree angle. The legs are pulled together with this strip of wood. I've drilled a hole to the other end and it's a little bit loose though, so the strip can wiggle it wiggle a little bit. And there's a slot here made with a miter saw. Okay, so if I take off this strip, I can now remove the leg from the slot. I pull it away from the saddle a little bit and then I pull it away like that. And behind the leg, there's a strip of wood that goes against the saddle and that prevents the leg from coming off. And then there's this uh, strip.
string or rope and it goes through the saddle and the legs and I put a screw there. I can adjust the uh, length of this string just by moving the screw. So I've actually made this knot first and then I've driven this screw through the knot. And now I'll show you how to assemble and disassemble this whole thing. First, you put the top part of the saddle against the floor. You remove this strip of wood, pull out the legs. Side. Another side is the same way. And then there's a piece of rope which you can use to tie the whole package like that. And then you can put it in a corner if you want. And assembly goes vice versa, of course. You put this strip of wood in place. On the other side. Like that. It's ready for work. And it's very sturdy also. I actually took time when I was making these saw horses and, and the second one that I made took one hour and five minutes, so it's not that bad. The first one took a little bit longer, two or three hours, because, because I had to plan the thing when I was making it. But overall it was time well spent uh, because they have brought up my uh, productivity a lot. I can work faster now and uh, also I don't have to work in awkward positions so I get less tired.